The poem Midterm Break by Seamus Haney revealed the aftermath of a tragedy, distress. The poem is about consequences and the responses of the family members aftermath of a tragedy. This is specifically the death of the poet's younger brother. The poem itself brings the autobiographical elements of the writer. It is his own experience that he has faced after his younger brother's death. The poem reveals the profound impact of this loss on the poet and his family. It is a pathetic and emotive reflection on grief, death, and the complexities of mourning. Throughout the poem, the writer uses various techniques to convey the raw emotions experienced during this difficult time. It creates sympathy among the readers while reading. The poem begins with the title, Midterm Break, which initially suggests a celebrative holiday. However, this irony becomes apparent as the poem unfolds the truth step by step. The opening lines, I sat all morning in the college sick bay, counting bells, nailing classes to, to a close, sets the scene for the reader to grasp that something tragic has occurred and the right to prepare readers for the following emotional journey. The word sick bay, bells, nailing, foreshadows that something terrible had happened. The next stanza, in the porch I met my father crying. He had always taken funerals in his ride, conveys that his father is a man who typically handles difficult situations with calm and dignity. When he sees his son for the first time after the loss, he breaks down and cries. The strength of the father begins to crack under the weight of the tragedy. The unbearable sorrow had changed the gender role. The poet describes a poignant moment involving a baby. The baby's actions are simple yet heartwarming. The word food refers to the soft and gentle sounds the baby makes, often associated with contentment and happiness. This reflects the baby's innocence and purity, which stand in contrast to the theme of the poem. The word love further enhances the portrayal of the baby's joy. It symbolizes the carefree nature of the childhood. Baby is not aware of the gravity of the tragedy. The baby's action symbolizes the continuations of life cycle and the resilience of joy, even in the face of tragedy. Throughout the poem, the poet captures the reactions of those around him. He explores the reactions and responses of people in the community, the awkward and uncomfortable encounters with the neighbors and the behavior of the adults who attempt to offer their condolences, exemplify the difficulty of finding the right words in the face of tragedy. At the beginning of the poem, Haney says that the neighbors drove him home. This illustrates the helpful nature and their supportive gestures in the difficult time. The poet describes his mother as a cowed out, angry, tearless size. This vivid imagery suggests that the mother is trying to suppress her emotion and put on a brave front for the sake of others. She is emotionally resilient hold back her emotions to keep the family together despite the tragic loss. Even though the loss is reflected in her eyes, she didn't cry and she was wrong. The loss had changed the gender role here again. The use of the term corpse to describe the brother's body emphasizes the harsh reality of the death and conveys the innocence and vulnerability of the young child. The words stanch and bandage illustrates that the loss was unexpected and it was a car accident. The poet brings the visual imagery of the snowdrops and candles that symbolize the themes of innocence, life's transience, and attempts to bring comfort and peace to the mourning family. The snowdrop is considered as a symbol of hope and rebirth. The closing lines, a foot, four foot box a foot for every year, deliver a final blow to the reader's emotion. The dead brother was just four years of age. This emphasizes the brevity of the child's life and the tragedy of his untimely death. This death leaves the family members unanswerable and speechless.
the poem Midterm Break by Seamus Haney reveals the aftermath of a tragedy. Comment. Midterm Break by Seamus Haney is a deeply moving and poignant poem that reveals the tragedy of a young boy's death and its profound impact on his family. Through carefully crafted imagery, evocative language, and emotional storytelling, the poet conveys the raw emotions and grief experienced during such a loss, and he explores the various aspects of the poem that contribute to its portrayal of tragedy. The poem begins with the speaker being taken from school to his home due to the tragic news. The initial line set the somber tone. I sat all morning in the college sick bay and counting bells kneeling classes to a close. The repetition of the B sound in bells kneeling creates a mournful atmosphere suggesting the inevitability of death and loss. The fact that the speaker is in a sick bay adds to the sense of foreboding as if an illness has already taken its toll. As the speaker arrives home, he is greeted by his mother, who is both heartbroken and in disbelief. The poet uses the word crying to describe his father's emotional state and it is immediately clear that something terrible has happened. The emotional state is de depicted in the lines, in the porch, I met my father crying. He had always taken funerals in his tribe. And Big Jim Evans saying it was hard to blow. The father who has experience with funerals struggles to cope with the loss. While Big Jim Evans' words reflect the gravity of the tragedy. Throughout the poem, the poet uses various images to portray the mourning process. The portrayal of the baby on the pram, cooed and laughed, in contrast to the corpse stenched and bandaged by the nurses, is particularly poignant. This contrast emphasizes the innocence and sudden loss of the younger brother. The juxtaposition of life and death in this image intensifies the tragedy, highlighting the unfairness of the boy's premature passing. The title of the poem carries a double meaning. It refers to the school break, the speaker to attend the funeral, but it also implies a break from the normality of life as the family is forced to come to term with their devastating loss. The use of the word break suggests a fracture in their lives as they navigate through grief and mourning, forever changed by the tragic event. In the third stanza, the father's emotional state is depicted as the speaker arrives home. The father's stoicism is shattered as he is seen crying. The poet writes the lines like, In the porch, I made my father crying. He had always taken funerals in his stride. And Big Jim Evans saying it was a hard blow. The use of enjambment in these lines heightens the impact of the father's cheer, revealing the depth of his sorrow. The fact that the father had always taken funerals in his tribe implies he might have been experienced in dealing with the death. But this particular loss has shaken him to his core. The phrase, hard blow, uttered by Big Jim Evans, encapsulates the tragedy of the situation.
it implies a sudden and unexpected strike of fate, leaving the family reeling from the emotional impact. The simplicity of the language used to convey this devastating news enhances the poem's emotional resonance as it mirrors the simplicity of the boy's life and innocence. The fourth stanza of the poem is particularly heartbreaking as it describes the scene of the boy's body laid out in the family home. The poet uses descriptive imagery to evoke a vivid and haunting picture. Snowdrops and the candles soothe the beside. The presence of the snowdrops often associated with the dead and mourning adds to the atmosphere of the sorrow and loss. The candles, typically associated with the hope and light, provide some comfort but are ultimately unable to dispel the darkness of the grief that pervades the room. In final stanza, where the young brother's body is described is the most heart-wrenching. A full food box, a full food for every year. This coincides and direct statement leaves a powerful impact on the reader, reinforcing the profound sense of loss felt by the family. The use of the word box to describe the coffin further emphasizes the boy's young age and the tragedy of life cut short. To sum up, the reader is left with a profound sense of sadness and empathy for the family's loss. The poet's skillful use of language and imagery allows the readers to feel the weight of grief and reflect on the universal theme of loss and coping with the death. Thank you. A midterm, a midterm break refers to the middle period within a school's academic term when there is time of post school. The poem's title therefore reveals the holiday period, but instead this midterm break suggests the death of poet's younger brother during midterm break. The poem doesn't spend a lot of time describing the accident or memorializing the dead child. Instead, the poem focuses on the way that other people respond to this tragedy. The poem explores the idea of death, trauma, grief, and the final fact of the tragedy. The poem depicts a boy arriving home from a kind of boarding school to where he is finally get to know about the tragic death of his younger brother, whose unfortunate fate indelibly marks the narrator. Upon arriving home, I met my father crying. This shows how death can cause much grief and trauma. Here we can see that the stereotypical roles of the parents have been reversed with the father crying and the boy's mother coughed out angry, tearless sighs. It can be seen that deaths are quite common. He had always taken funerals in his tribe, but no one expected the death to hit so close to heart when it comes to ourselves. And those parents no longer were the spectators of the funerals now that their own flesh and blood had been taken away from them. The poet brings a moment of our initial phase of life into the poem by mentioning cooed and laughed and rocked the pram, which was an activity that seemed out of place for such a sad event. He was also embarrassed by the older man shaking his hand as he walked through the door. He felt very awkward as it was an unusual thing to him. Strangers were informed that he was the eldest away at school. Henny's mother took his hand in hers, which was not only to comfort him, but to comfort her as well. As she held his hand, she coughed out angry, tearless sighs. She was probably distressed and angry, not only at herself, but also the driver who had hit her son. 
In this poem, Henny refers to his brother's body as the corpse, which sounds very strange word to use describing a family member. It states that Henny wasn't allowing himself to believe it was his brother, it brother as it says, the body arrived stanched and bandaged by the nurses. The metaphor used at the start of the seventh stanza, wearing a poppy brose, reminds us of death and unhappy times. Henny uses the word wearing to describe his brother's bruise. By using this word, it makes it sound as if it was just there and could be taken off, not something that was permanent and part of this brother. Henny described his brother as if he was lying in his cot, not a coffin. By doing this, it conveys the feeling that he's just asleep, all well and peacefully, a bit like a baby. End stopping of the final stanza stresses calm, contemplative nature of the young Henny's private grieving. The last stanza of the poem is structured with the only one line, making its shadow, making it stand out and seem important. This, this stanza is very emotional. Henny uses the word box, which sounds more homely. Last line is placed on its own, separated from the rest, just like the little boy removed from the world alone by the dead. A four foot box, a food for every year. Midterm break. Midterm break by Seema Skinny is a deeply moving poem that explores the tragedy of losing a loved one. The poem paints a vivid picture of heart wrenching experience. Skinny skillfully imbues his word with raw emotion, taking the reader on the on a journey of grief and sorrow. By exploring the universally relatable theme of loss. Heaney captures the reader's sympathy and understanding as he navigates through the aftermath of tragedy. The initial shock and confusion of the poem open with the narrator's immediate surroundings. The college sick bay indicating that something catast catastrophic has happened. Heaney describes his father crying, a stark contrast to the usual image of strong father figure. The simplicity of the text amplifies the impact of this moment, evoking a feeling of confusion and disbelief and reader feels the weight of this sudden loss. The struggle to process grief as the poem progress. The narrator describes the different reaction of the family members, the little boys blissfully unaware. Constantly cautions and annoy their father who consumed by grief, sit in silence. The image of the baby pooing reveals the innocence of you, serving as a stark contrast to heavy atmosphere. The straightforward language parallels the emotional turmoil experienced by the narrator. The funeral rituals and their impact the poem takes a somber turn as the scenes transition to the day and funeral. Henny describes the heartbreaking sight of his younger brother laying in a coffin, making the reader truly comprehend the extent of the tragedy with plain language. The poet portraits the shock and sadness of mourners, highlighting the collective grief that follows after the loss. The next stanza, it is made clear that if it is not his mother who has died, as she is there holding his hand, as all the strangers speak to him and all around the family. The young boy is the eldest child who was away at school. Mother cough out angry, tearless shies. These lines emphasize the mother's physical, emotional strain and she struggled to process the tragic news. Finally, ambulance arrived with corpse. It has been stanched, bandaged by the nurses. 
that boy saw his brother after six feet, but his uh, but his four years little brother lay in the four foot box as in his court. It deal with emotional situation throughout these points.